Our first proclamation of the word is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 8. Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise, and go toward the south along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is the desert. So he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority, under Candace, the queen of Ethiopians, who had charge of all their treasury and had come to Jerusalem to worship, was returning and sitting this chariot. He was reading Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go near and overtake the chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him re reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I understand someone guides me? And he asked Philip to come up and with him. The place of the scripture which he read what was this. He was led a ship to the slaughter, and as a lamb before the shitter is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, his justice was taken away. And who will declare his generation? For this life is been taken from the earth. So the eunuch answered Philip and said, I ask you, of whom does the prophet say this of himself, of someone other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at the scripture preached Jesus to him. Now as they went down the road, they came to the water, and eunuch said, See, the water hinders from the where we were baptized. Then Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So he may commanded the chariot to stand still. And both Philip and eunuch went down into the water, and he baptized him. Now, when they came out of the water, the spirit of God fell away, so the eunuch saw him no more, and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found rich in all the cities, till he came to Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Please stand for our responsorial psalm. And our response is, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. All together. God with joy. O oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, who keeps our soul from the living and does not allow our feet to be moved. Response. Come and hear now. All you fear God, and I will declare what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and he was exalted with my tongue. Response. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor her, her mercy from me. Response. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Reading from the Gospel of Christ according to St. John, chapter, chapter 6. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. And I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Therefore, everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except he who is from God, he has seen the Father. Most assuredly, I say to you, 
He who believes in me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your father ate the manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever, and the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Good morning. In this gospel today, God is telling us, and God is telling the crowd here, that Jesus said that I am the bread of life. And he said once again that I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. He said here that, I am the living bread. In short, the people don't understand the word of Jesus Christ. But as believers, we see ourselves that we are going to partake the living bread in our lives. And who is that living bread? That is Jesus. And today, as we always go to taking his bread, his, his body, we see to it that the life of Jesus has been in us, has been transformed in us. Kaya pag agto na to riya, ag magbaton kita, we receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We see to it that Jesus is the one speaking unto us right now. This is my body. If we say, this is my body, we believe that that is his body. And this is my blood, which is broken and which is given for you. So if we receive that, if we have that faith to receive that in our heart, there will be transformation every day sa ating nakabuhi. That's why we are always going here right now to receive His grace, to receive His forgiveness, that we are going to receive His nourishment in our spiritual life because He is the bread of life sa ating nakabuhi. No one else, yes, no one could substitute right now Jesus in us right now. Ano man nga bagay that we desire, it is Jesus right now who could satisfy us right now. For He is the bread of life. He is the living bread right now that God has sent for us right now. So today, we see right now that we are going to see Jesus in this bread. We see Jesus in that that bread is his body right now. So, if we see that that bread that we are going to partake is the body of Christ, then God will transform himself into his body and there will be healing that will occur in our body. So, if you are right now in depressed, God right now will restore your relationship to him. God will Transform your life into the image that God wants for you right now. If we come with humility in our heart, knowing that we are going to partake Jesus in us, then the resurrection power of Jesus is flowing in us right now. So what every problem we have, as we partake Jesus, as we partake His body and His blood, Jesus transformed Himself in that body transform himself in the bread right now and become his body right now. So, there is healing in his body. There is deliverance in his body. There is nourishment in his body. As long as we believe in our heart that what we partake is Jesus himself. God will continue to transform us. That's why, tanawun natin, nga kung gabaton kita, what will be our attitude if we see Jesus, then there will be transformation that can happen in our lives. Because we are going to receive Jesus. That's why we will receive the communion during this day right now. We see Jesus right now in us right now. Because Jesus, we receive Jesus as our Lord. He said that 
if we receive him, right? If we say he gave us his life right now, and his flesh is his bread. So, mga ibanghod ko, sa makaroon niya rang agahon, there will be a opening of our heart right now and our mind that as we itaas natin ng ginoo, Lord, this is your body which is broken for you. That is his body. And what he said, that is his body, then that is his body. He said, sa Genesis right now, paghamba na na, there will be light and there was light. But this is my body, so we not to a body. And this body was broken for us right now. He died for us, there will be forgiveness, so there will be healing that will occur right now. Spiritual healing right now, uh, physical healing right now sa ating bilog na kawasan as long as we partake the body and the blood with worthy manner. So, dapat, bago kita magpagapit ka na, we have to prepare and check our heart right now because we receive not an ordinary bread, but we receive Jesus himself sa ato nga kabuhi. And if we receive, if that will be our attitude, then makita natin nga everyday sa ato nga kabuhi, dapat nagabago kita. That, that, that's why Nani, there is changes in us because you receive Jesus in us. There will be transformation. Right? There will be healing right now. Healing in our finances. Healing in, in our physical body. Healing in our emotional life. Healing in our spiritual life. And that is Jesus in us. So let's all stand.